Okay, so uh, what we need to do is actually, can I see? Yeah, so it's an eleven stack. Please, let me just have a look. Um, uh, da -da -da -da. Four, five, nine. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, it's a ten stack. Okay. That's odd. They actually not built any. They put it on the siege, but they've not put any uh, siege equipment. Oh, it looks like they're just gonna try and starve us out then. That's fine. Okay, well, we could probably lift the siege now and then go for a field battle. But I'm a bit worried about this. We've got Iboon infantry, we have Brown Shield, um, we've got some Principes, we've got War Dogs, we've got a cavalry unit. This is going to be a tough fight, this, if we do this. Yeah, fuck it, let's give it a shot. Oh, they actually went back. Oh, they actually went back. Interesting. Why did they retreat? Okay, well, if that's the case, let's uh, let's get back into Nematium and let's uh, reinforce Nematium then. Okay, right, well, alright, no worries, Spanish, thank you very much. Alright, so Captain Herennius is going to head to Oscar then, he'll be down two turns. Uh, we've got... Okay, so we have this stack here, on the Captain Herennius, who has uh, a couple of cav units, uh, mostly... Line, muscle infantry, uh, shot morale with the dogs and uh, one skirmish unit. So I think we can, uh, we could repel this maybe. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, we're going to wipe out this then. What have they got? They've got chosen swordsman, warband, two slingers, and a swords unit. Okay, so light infantry, two heavy infantry, and two missile skirmishers. We could probably take these uh, guys out. Really, bounce battle is good. The battle area looks mostly flat terrain with some forest to the left flank. So, be up to the uh, the enemy to see where they will place themselves. They're going to be on defensive AI anyway, so chances are they'll probably either use a hill or a uh, the forest. The omens have been better, but I dismiss those priestly naysayers. They are holy men, not warriors. Also, we stand in the forest. Interesting. Today we go into battle Might be good to uh, absorb some of the skirmisher missiles. Because slingers, they have been slingers are really powerful. Fools and blustering morons. Now they will pay the price. I mean, <sighs> in terms of like what's the best skirmisher, be it javelin, slingers, or Today, archers. I mean, I don't really know actually. That's actually a really good. That would be a good idea for a video, actually. Let us harden our hearts and think of Rome and all hmm. we can do for her. Then Maybe. we will do our duty to Roman honor. Okay, let's get spell started then. Units on my order. Units. Units up. Okay, so we're advancing forward. The British are right in the open. That is kind of interesting, actually. Okay, so they've got Chosen Swordsman on the left flank, Swordsman in the middle, Warband on the right, two units of skirmishers, <laughs> two skirmishers, and almost a full finger skirmishers. Okay. So the question is do we want to advance or do we not? Probably the best. Uh, let's advance to the tree line. Uh, not Well, not the best position I'd like, but it's close enough to the enemy anyway. Also, we got. Cavalry on both sides, which is really nice. In terms of uh, the captains, I prefer infantry captains to be fair though, because at least with the cavalry, they'll be freed up to um, go onto the sides and do what they do best, really. Okay. Are they marching? Yeah, they're actually marching. They're moving up skirmishers. Interesting. We might be able to get a... Uh, we might get a skirmishing phase here. This will be interesting. Yeah, I think they're firing. Yeah, they're firing. Alright, so Velte is moving forward. Actually, speaking now, they're not skirmishing. 
We're moving up the chosen swordsman. Actually rushing them in. Come on, Captain. Bring back the uh, skirmishers. Come on. Bring back the skirmishers. Quickly. Quickly. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now they're coming to the main line. This will be interesting. This will be very interesting. Okay. In terms of his battle plan, looks like he's keeping the rest of the units behind. Throwing up the chosen swordsman. Doing uh, a bit of damage. They are taking uh, some casualties, but they're holding on. They are shaking because they are surrounded. But we might be able to hold on. They currently are engaging with Stati and the Barbaric Mercenaries. But they're going to get surrounded by flying. So actually, there's the skirmishers coming in. Yep, they're coming in now. Our left cavalry is coming in. Actually, both our cavalry are coming right in. Oh, that's interesting. Equities went right for the warband. Should have done the what the barbarian cavalry mercenaries are doing and coming after the uh, swordsman. Oh, actually, no, I thought that was a slinger's pardon. Right, other than that, we repelled them anyway. We took some losses, but this should be um, relatively, uh, I think, you know. Yeah, they're fighting the uh, slingers. The Hold on. Okay. Stand it. No point in wasting any more time. Look, I'm just going to see how long. I just want to see how long we're recording in a second. If you don't mind, please. Okay, let's see. Uh, thick minutes. Okay, not bad. Okay, probably another 20 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes. We'll see. Alright, I think... Uh, no, I think we're okay for... Uh, merging and... Thingy. Uh, merging and bringing up reinforcements from Londonum. Okay, um, let's see here. Anything I want to do, anything I want to do. So, he's still up on his way up. It's going to take him, uh, after this one, one, two, it's going to take him three turns. We have, you know, have seven more turns here, which is pretty nice. Uh, once we take in this stack up to Batavia Durham, we'll be in a very excellent spot to start taking some of the Germanic clans and Germany or Germania has some very very interesting units actually uh, if we engage them after this we'll start running into Axemen we'll start running into uh, Spear Warband which is uh, sort of like the Barbarians version of Pikemen a phalanx unit uh, not as good as the Macedonians or the Greek phalanx units, but still, worthy adversaries in their own case. Um, I think in terms of everything else, we'll skip a turn, or end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so Oscar's about to get the reinforcements next turn, to bolster up the garrison. Okay, so Span- oh right, okay, so Spain's coming in for another, another siege. Okay, so we got an evil battle here. Oh, that's the one with the troop on it, isn't it? Damn it. And we won. Okay, good. Shit, I thought we were going to lose that thingy then. Yeah, the mats here is on the thingy. Uh, we gained a bit of money this time. Recruitment. Stati War Dogs. Uh, Stati's been retrained. Velte's been retrained. Interesting, okay. Okay, war declared between House of Britia and Spain. Not that I see any of the reinforcements thingy in anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna do here then? Well, they've got an interesting. Oh yeah, that was that half stack, wasn't it? That got a thingy behind. But we do have a general coming up with near enough a full stack. Oh, that is fucking scary. That is really fucking scary. We might actually lose the Matium actually. Oh, okay. Well, he's gonna join into Oscar, so yeah. Uh, we're a bit, I hate to say it, but we're a bit lacking on some of the, uh, some of the forces here, at least. We actually are. Hmm. Right, okay. We do have some units in Retium and Arninium. Vitavium has some troops as well. Huh, okay. Right, 
Right, well, first things first, let me get this, uh... Let's get this ship moving. For a fucking... For a fucking, uh... Lose this entire stack here. Alright, let's, uh, let's... Can we disembark? Where can we disembark? We cannot disembark here. Let's just bring them up a little bit. Uh, where can we disembark? We can disembark the... Yeah, let's disembark here. It's going to take three turns for that. That's fine. As long as we get the quicker before... Oh, what's happened here? Ah! It seems Scipii is actually getting a bit of a problem in terms of public order. Huh, okay. That could make our future endeavours a bit easier, it just depends. Although that's not our problem, our problem's Spain at the minute. Um, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I think we might have to sell him now, actually. Yeah, I hate to say it, but we might have to sally now, because if that general gets into reinforcement range, it's going to be a hell of a fucking battle, so we're going to engage now. We do have advantage. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, apologies about that. Uh, just had to stop recording in the middle of um, thingy. In the uh, middle of uh, stopping middle of recording. Anyway, where were we? Right, that's right, we're going to sally against the um, Spanish here. Alright, let's do this then. So, um, if I remember right, it's a decent stack, so... Well, this could be a... Um, if we can defeat the stack and deal a lot of damage to the enemy, we could potentially be in a very good state here, actually. Possibly. Units! Away my orders! Units! Group! All the way over here, so let's get everyone here. Yep. Yeah, it's gonna get everyone out. Um, yeah, when you sell you out, if you put the AI on automatic, like I've done here without giving an order, they actually go and regroup in the. Um, they actually go and regroup in the square. Obviously, we don't want that. We want to. Um, we want to come out and do a field battle. So let me have a look and see what we're up against here. So looks like we're up against. Uh, okay, let's see here. So that is round shield cavalry. We have round shield cavalry. So two units of cavalry. Have our error. Iberian skirmishers, skirmishers, Iberian skirmishers, naked fanatics, more skirmishers, more naked fanatics, more Iberian infantry. Okay. Right, so this is going to be very interesting. It's going to be very interesting, actually. Okay, the question is, though, where are they going to set up? Um, actually, we could probably... Let's see if we can try and take the high ground here. If we can take the high ground on this here, that should do as well. So let's move up here, then. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Are they advancing? I don't know. Yeah, they are advancing. No, no, no. Hold position, hold position, hold position. Get in formation, quickly. Quickly, formation. I think. Alright, okay. Alright, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay, we'll see if we're going to do our battle here then. Because their skirmishers are starting to move. Oh no. I thought the enemy skirmishers were going to move forward then. Sorry, to be honest, what's our conditions like? Eager, warmed up, warm up, good. Good, we've got war dogs at the back. Let's move a tiny bit forward, just so we can uh, initiate a skirmish phase. Okay, so we've got six columns of Hestati and one Principe in there. Okay, so skirmishes are moving up. Okay, move our... Okay, let's see if our Velites will move on as well. Probably not, but... Depends, let's see, what are they doing? Yeah, moving, uh, moving skirmishers up. Three lots of skirmishers, it looks like. Alright, so our Velas is moving up, and we're going to have ourselves a skirmish space, I believe. Yeah, it sounds like they're already throwing shape. Okay, 
don't like we're losing any men. Ah. Okay. Oh, right. I thought the cavalry was coming to the side then. Yeah, we're throwing stuff now. Let's see if we can try and bait them into an attack. Skirmishes are in position. Okay. Cavalry is moving? No, no, no. I'm just moving up. Yeah, bringing people back now. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're just going to have a bit of a skirmishing phase going on here. Have we lost some men here? Hmm, possibly. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're getting ready to receive fire here. So I'm to get the shields up. Okay, I just want to see who's the first that's going to break. Yeah, Asati's coming under fire. Alright, looks like, yep, we're going in for the offensive now. So we're going to do a bit of a flanking attack here. This is going to be good. Yeah, we're firing. Oh, that's good. We're going to get one unit on the right flank if possible. I don't know who's going to go there. War dogs are moving in. Okay, so the Aquites are engaging with the Iberian infantry. That's probably a bad thing. Kind of is. We need to get the army in there now. Okay, so we got... It starts engaging with skirmishes. Good, the general's pulled out. It's like we're falling back to defensive positions. Possibly. Nope, we're moving in again. Alright, come on, hurry up. Okay, so we got. Oh, shit, one unit was starting broke. Looks like us. Yeah, the one on the right side. Although one of their units are broken, looks like skirmishes. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Uh, we're gonna lose the starter here. Oh, we lost two Astarte, shit. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just see what happens. Okay, it looks like... Are they retreating? I don't really like it. I think they might be... Re yeah, they're reforming the line. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it looks like we're reforming as well. Bit of a regroup, if you will. Principe is uh, engaging with the enemy Iberian infantry. Come up with any... The naked fanatics on the side, that's kind of bad for us. They might be able to hold. So the captain's ordered a, um, a one unit skirmish phase, maybe. Um, Prince Pace, yeah, they are concerned about exposed Franks and we are losing men. Yeah. Well. Let them deal as much damage as possible before they go out. Again, if we lose any units, it's not too bad because, you know, <laughs> our army up keeps kind of big as is. Okay, it's interested. Yeah, they're broken. Captain Tenterus. Okay, so he's moving the, forward, the army forward now. Yeah, he's going for an attack now. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, watch yourself. It's starting to come along the sides. We've got Velites. We've got Velites charging in. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we've got Astarte from Pila. They're going to engage with the Naked Fanatics in a second, I reckon. Alright, so this is interesting. So we've got three units on the main line. We have three units in reserve. Although, watch yourself, Captain, because we've got Rounds Your Cavalry incoming. Oh, no, they're charging for the War Dogs. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're moving in the rest of the troops then. War Dogs have been routed. Okay, this is a very dangerous battle going on, actually. Yeah, see, here we have Iberian infantry, we have the Brown Shield Cavalry involved, Naked Fanatics. We're going to get a unit of Astarte straight to the flank of the Naked Fanatics. That is brilliant. That's good. Our captain is dealing with the Skirmishers. Okay. Ah, uh, better watch out, because here comes the Brown Shield, but we do have a unit of Astarte charging them. So everything is in melee now. The Brown Shield has been broken. We've got... The naked, fan uh, the naked fanatics broken. Iberian infantry has been broken. Yeah, this is brilliant. Surround them. Morale de deprive them. They're, they're there. Morale deprive them, if you will. Okay, so we have one Astarte and one War Dogs at the square, so they can be on standby and defend just in case we fail here. Other than that, that's a good chunk of their force been defeated. So that's left is the two skirmish units and the captain himself, I reckon. Yep, and, yeah, three, three skirmishers. 
Okay, well this isn't too bad actually. We've retained our front line. Well done, Captain. Well done. Okay, so he's moving up the Velites to move up and skirmish. Oh no, looks like some of the units are starting to come back. Shit. Yeah, it's like they're coming back for more. Crap. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, he's moving the formation back. Alright. They're still on defensive AI. Looks like they are. Oh no, there's the war dogs. They're still fighting. They might get a couple of kills, maybe, who knows. But ultimately than that, looks like we're doing pretty fine up to now. Okay, so the Velity is going to move up. Looks like they're going to do a bit of a skirmish. Okay. Yeah, we're just back to square one again now with the standoff. Um, let's see if anyone... Okay, so let's see. So they have... It's 11. 11. Still got. Yep, still got. Quite a bit of skirmishes, actually. Oh, they're retreating. Yeah, they are retreating. Good. Yeah, looks like we've repelled the uh, Spanish assault. That is really nice. Well done, troops. Well done, indeed. Yeah, let's just fast forward this now because they're retreating now. Good. Alright, so Nubatia lives another day then. Good. It's a good thing we threw in the, uh, the reinforcements at least. Okay, well, that's them away. Good, well done, troops. Well done. Did well. Alright, just gotta wait for them to come off the field now. Because if you quit, like, if you click quit battle while they're retreating, the enemy army is in then it'll, actually be it'll be actually classed as a draw. But sometimes it'll be like a defeat or whatever. It kind of works like a, uh, I think if you quit the battle, it calls it as a, um, an auto resolve, but. I believe it's within, I believe it is within not your favour, you will. Alright, so the situation in the Matia, we took some really big, we took some really, really big um, losses there, I'm not going to lie. But, maybe with a bit of luck, we might be able to hold on against Zorian, although this is the main stack I am worried about. So... I am kind of thinking about moving reinforcers for Moscow, but I'm kind of worried about this. Like I said, I just want to go for a defensive war with Spain right now. So that might not be too bad, I think. Uh, regarding Long Dunham, I might actually get a stack together and start. Yeah, do you know what? I'm actually going to get a stack together. I want to start um, moving some of these forces down to Iberia, I think. So, let's get as many troops as possible, I believe four, I think. And then we can uh, go to here. Okay. And then we can move to Long Dunham, get as many forces from here as possible, I believe about four. Join with this stack. And then what we can do is we can move Captain Numerous. <laughs> um, we can move him. Ah, oh, God, there's rebels all over the shop, isn't there? There is. We could probably move him down here then. Actually, do you know what? We could probably move him to the boat, actually. Yeah, actually, we'll move him to the boat, and then they can start moving down to Cargafo Nova, which is this settlement. And that will put Spain under a bit more pressure then. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so is there anything else we want to do? Um, that stack's moving to Batavo. And we have a ship heading down to, um, I believe... The last Numidian settlement. I think we do, aren't we? And then move him. Okay, let's end the turn then. We'll see what happens. I have a feeling Spain will put under. Yeah, I had a feeling the Mansi on the siege. Okay, 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 okay. Now, this is a serious one. Settlement besieged. And turn. Turn Grail Summer Breaver. We have a couple of people in. Senate officers, that's nice. New family member, Honora, Onria. And Secundus Didius, a spice merchant. 10% bonus all trade income, very nice. Cavalry stables and Alessia, stables and Lavavum. 
And we've got Histati, Principes, Velites, Blisters. Histati's Velites, Principes. You know it is there. Okay. Right. So we got a bit of a problem then. Right. So we have five. We have a seven stack here at Nematium, Nematia, and um, I kind of have an idea actually. Now I don't really do this, but the reason why I do this is to get rid of some of the buildings. I get rid of some of the buildings because. If they're gonna take this, then it means they'll have to spend a lot of money rebuilding it. So what I'm hoping is they will be out of vault. That's what I'm hoping. So they can't destroy that. So the ones we can't destroy will be destroyed. Okay. So what we can do is then if they take it, then hopefully the rebels will take it over. And that's them denied a settlement. We've got to start heading towards the ship at Narbo. That will come down this way. So uh, let me just see how long we're recording for. Because I've only got a short amount of time to record. So probably about another 50 minutes or something like that. Yeah, I'm just trying to finish up the session I was doing. I mean, I've, I've only got a little bit of time to uh, to do this. So I'm just finishing up really more than anything. All right, let's end the turn. We've got troops moving all over the shop. Alright, Pontus, Germania, Spain, Greece. Okay, so we've got Rev Rebels, whereabouts? Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, okay, so we've got a ship remaining. Oh, okay, that was at the wrong place. Okay, that's fine. Oh, hello. Betrothed, Olivia. Sextus Arsunius. For free command and one management. Lovely. And where is he based? He is based in Suggesta. Okay, cool. Um, we can actually get another stack going on here, I think. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Hmm. Yeah, I might actually get some troops going on. Uh, yeah, let's see that. Let's give him a small detachment. I think what he can do is he can clear some of the rebels around here, I think. Yeah, anyway, uh, okay. Uh, what are we doing? Okay. End of turn report. Uh, okay, we made quite a bit of money this time, very nice. A lot of um, a lot of buildings here actually. Sewers, arenas, very nice. Okay, recruitment report started. Yes, yeah, just same shit as usual. Marriage celebrations, cool. Okay, so yeah, that's still under siege. Um, we'll let this town go, I think, because it's losing money. Yeah, it's losing a bit of money, but the cool thing is we destroyed all the buildings. Although they are rebuilding something else, so yeah. That's fine. I mean, don't want to take it. That's okay. As long as we get, you know, as long as we can hold on and deal as much damage as possible, that's fine. Okay, Captain Herarius, you move up to here, and we're going to take a Barakum, which is, uh, I believe, this. Uh, is this Newcastle, by the way, or is Newcastle further up here? Uh, I don't know my east coast of England all that well. I only know like this area, preferably. Because, I mean, I live in this area of the UK. Um, I know, I think this is actually, uh, I think this is actually Manchester, this, like, right in the centre here. Maybe. I don't know. Right, anyway, I'm talking shite now. <laughs> okay, so, in terms of everything, I mean, that's pretty much it, really. we got Solidified Oscar, we're going to take Cathangon Nova. If this goes, that goes, I'm not... I'm not worried. I need to start sending some of the stacks down that way just to deal with Iberia. Um, they're gonna jump on the boat in a second. Actually, I could probably do it now this turn, actually, yeah. Okay, let's take that, and we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom here. Palmer's got a bit of a stack going on, so I could probably move some of the troops over there, maybe. It's gonna take a few turns. Um, what's Palmer got? Palmer's got quite a few, but I'll use that as a defense force just in case they're going to Palmer. Masalia's got a bit of a stack going on as well. I mean, look. Two Town Watch, Astarte, Ballista. Not bad. Okay, I think we'll do one more turn because nothing much to do. Alright, so we're at Patadova. Uh, we can assault because we have Ballista, but 
we're just going to do a couple of siege rams. God, how many siege, how many rams can we get? Five? <laughs> They'll overkill, but fuck it, we'll just leave it. I'll do the siege next turn. Ah, uh, Spain's gonna go for the assault now. Okay. Um, well... We'll try and do this. Just because I think with a manual resolve, we'll probably will do a lot more damage then. Thingy, but... I'm afraid this is a, this is a take over this. I'm not joking, Spain's this quite dangerous. Is the Spanish Horde, ready to fight. Today, I think we should send many of them to the afterlife. That army is one quarter of the enemy's strength. So sharpen your swords one last time. When we have killed them all, we will have made a good start. They are keen, eager, and foolish. We need only let them die before our wall. We are outnumbered, but that only means the foe was scared to come at us fairly. With honor! Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard! Strike without mercy! Alright, well, I'm not expecting much, I will be honest. Yeah, the gates are already down, so they might not actually... Let's see, have they got any um, siege equipment? They've got two rams. Uh, yeah, two rams. Oh, actually, no, they've got three rams. Interesting. Well, like I said, there's nothing we can do. The only thing we can do is just get to the square and just try and hold them down the best we can. That's the only thing we can do. They're gonna come from this direction, so we'll just have to uh, just have to hold. We'll just have to hold and do our best, really. Uh, I'm gonna stick this on the general view, and I'm going to fast forward it. I mean, I can't see us winning this, but like I said, I'll just stick on fast forward and just see what happens. Yeah, they're at the gates now and the walls. We'll just let them breach. We'll just fight to the last man, but at the same time try and do as much damage as possible we can. They will take Nomatium, and to be extremely honest, there's nothing much I can do. Okay, hold men, hold. I'm gonna come in, overwhelm us. I mean, it's a slot of time, let's put it that way. Here they come. Oh, okay. Look to the inner defenses. The walls have fallen to the enemy. The duck. Your general's nerve has broken, and he is fleeing from the enemy. Yeah, nothing we can do. Like I said, I mean, if we can take down as many as we possibly can, I'll take it. But other than that, can't see us. Nah, I was Although if we can take the general's kill. If we can kill the general, I mean, I'll be extremely happy. But nah. Your general has thrown away. Yeah, his... we've done it. We're done. Although we did take care of a lot of men, I will be honest, but hey oh. Oh well. <laughs> it's alright, we will take Iberia. We will take Iberia one day. Yeah, that's been taken Numantium. That's fine. Yeah, something occupied. Don't worry about it. We lost quite a bit of money that time. Lemonum expands, popularity falls in the masses, because, you know, yeah. Egypt's the most advanced. Egypt found in British Londonum. Common age, Cornelius Julius. Doubtful courage. Minus one morale and all troops. Oh, Jesus, really? Really? <laughs> Cornelius Julius with his fancy gold armor. Are you joking me? I've seen any of these guys yet. Cavalry Auxiliar. Auxiliar. I don't know. Right, anything else? Construction, forum, cop rotation. Great forum, wooden walls. Yep. Prince of Bays and Aranium. Okay, folks, um, let me have a look at something here. Yeah, army upkeep, 30,000. Yeah, that's what we do. Alright, folks, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet as possible. Um, 
In terms of a battle plan, I mean, right now, if we can... I mean, the battle plan right now is to hold Oscar best we can. We've got a fleet coming down to Cargo Vanova here. And then we can just sort of have a two-front defense, if will be. Um, we'll turn our eyes here once the British have been taken out. And then once the British has been taken out, we'll deal with Iberia and then we'll look other places to expand. Um, oh. Okay, it's a good thing I fucking noticed that. They've taken, uh, they've taken... Ready to <sighs> okay. Alright, this is different now. Okay, so they've taken that bit of land, and to be honest, I don't really want to go to war with the Egyptians yet. Okay. Well, anywhere I can go. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what, we could double back. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, stack. And we're going to go all the way. Uh, we're going to go all the way. I can find it. Come on, dude. Come on. Ah, come on. Alright, we're going to go all the way here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up the Mediterranean. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the city of Tingi. If we can, before the Skippy I get there. There is no way the Skippy I can beat here. At least I don't think so. But if we can take Tingi, then we can start going up Iberia this way. I got a full stack with nothing left, with nothing to do. And I don't want to. Um, actually, do you know what? I think I might put them on the Skippy Eye territory and just run them down this way. I don't want to lose an army to uh, a fleet battle. Nah. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to end it here. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you leave uh, a like, subscribe, and a comment. Comment can be game related, non game related, and I guarantee you I will reply. So, uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.